and welcome back to Mummy Life. My name is Linda for those that don't know. Um, today I will be showing you items that I brought from Target. I haven't been to Target in quite some time um, and I specifically went there to see what they had in their Manchester and Homewares section. I need a new dinner cover for my bed. Um, I wanted to see what they had in comparison to what Kmart has. Um, and also I needed uh, some bowls and new mugs for my kitchen and I want to see what Target had but yeah where I am we've got a Target country and not your normal Target stores so yeah it was really really minimal items on the shelf in their homewares and Manchester section which was quite disappointing because that was you know the only reason why I went there um, but then I ended up wandering over to the kids section to check out what they they had there um, They've got some really really cute stuff and I'm noticing that they're already like we're in Victoria where I am it is nine degrees today um, So it's still like we're in dead set winter at the moment, but they're already bringing out summer items I don't know if that's normal but yeah, anyway, <laughs> I did pick one one thing for my son that he will need in summer only because I thought it was really cute and I wanted to grab it straight away because of the price. Um, but anyway, so to start off with, my son needed new underwears. He's finally growing out of his size one to two underwears and he's three years old. Um, and I got him to pick out his own underwear. So we got a nautical theme. It's got all fish and um life um the life rings i think that's what they're called you know it's real it's a nautical theme he really liked like a message in a bottle really really cute um and he got this uh crocodile uh one i when i buy un undies for my son i tend to let him pick them out only because it's like something exciting that he does every morning like to ensure that he changes his underwears it's exciting for him to pick out his underwears and there's nothing worse than i'm the same if i've got like something that i don't like i'm not going to go for it so um it's yeah i really really like the fact that he got to pick these out and he gets up in the morning and he changes his undies and he you know uh yeah it's just something fun for the for my little boy Next up, I picked up these tracksuit pants. These were $16 and I always ensure that I get tracksuit pants that have a drawstring. Um, and I thought they were, these were really cute. It's got the little de stitching detailing there, the black zipper there. Yeah, really, really cute. Like the brown corduroy strip down the side. I thought that was really, really cute. Next, I picked up a hooded jumper. It's a tie-dye sort of look. Not really. It's not. That's what. It, that's what's on the label. But it's more like a distressed, distressed khaki color. Um, and there's that little emblem on there, which is subtle. This was sixteen dollars, and it's got the pockets there. I thought this was really cute. It's got the fleece insert. It's actually still, it's it's light, a light jumper, even with the fleece insert. And it'll still keep him warm, which I, yeah, I thought that was really nice. Next, I picked up another jumper. And this was, let's have a look, $14. Um, it's a navy blue and it's got the white and yellow, uh, white and red stripes on there at the front and also at the back which I thought you know it adds a little bit more of a, like a different sort of style because I find that a lot of um, jumpers at Kmart tend to have um, stripes on that at the front but then at the back they're, um, they're plain. I kind of like this look and I was really like yeah I really liked it and I thought yeah no I'm gonna grab it even if even though it was $16 and it's probably you know, these jumpers are probably the most expensive jumpers I've brought for my son. Um, I really just, yeah, I, I wanted to grab it. And it's a fleece jumper as well. Like, it's got the fleece inside and the cute little blue and white detailing 
over the stitching, which I thought was adorable. And the pockets, and this is this jumper is actually heavier. I feel like it's actually heavier than the other jumper. But yeah, I really loved it. Next, I picked up um, this long sleeve top. It was ten dollars. It's a burnt orange color. The tag says orange, a uh, waffle orange. But yeah, it's it's a burnt color and it's just a little bit lighter on the arms really cute and it's got like a scoop bottom down there i thought that was adorable and lastly now this item was probably an item that i didn't need right now but i thought it was really cute and it was only 12 dollars for a pack of two t-shirts which i thought was a steal at target so I had to grab it. So you get a blue one with the burnt orange accents in the stitching and in the trimming on the inside. And then this stripe of navy blue and burnt orange um, with the blue pocket, which I thought was really cute. Yeah, so this was $12. I thought, yep, I've got to start stocking up for the, the warmer weather. And I found it, and it's very rare that I do go to uh, Target Country. Um, I tend to like to go to Target when I'm in Melbourne. The big, like in near my parents, have got a massive Target there. Um, so I just grabbed I grabbed items that I I grabbed these stuff because I know I won't go back there on a regular basis, and you know. He needed he needed some more dressier jumpers. Um, and lastly, sorry, I had to get down because it dropped on the floor. Lastly, I picked up these leggings for my daughter. These were $8 and they're, they're nice and thick. They're, they're quite nice. And it, it's it got this accent of um, the glittered polka dots, the blush pink and the yellow and white polka dots. I thought that was really, really cute. I could have gone nuts in the girls section, but... Um, that was the last section that I went into and sh my daughter was just, she's going through, they say terrible threes, but I, I really do think with both my kids, they go through terrible twos. It starts at two years old. Um, so yeah, by the time we got to the girls section, she just went bananas on me. So I only picked up this. Um, so it's going to be a while before I go back to Target. Um, but yeah i wonder if like i know i've gone online at target but as soon as i put in my suburb it says that it's not available but i thought when you did online ordering it would pick it up from any store in the area and have it delivered quote me if i'm wrong on that or if i'm doing something wrong if i'm trying to order online because yeah, like I said, I hardly ever go there. And if I do find something online at Target for the kitchen and um, bed bedroom, I want to pick it up. Like the lamps, I wanted specific lamps from Target, but they didn't have it at my Target, so I couldn't order it. But then I ended up finding these really cute lamps that came up, which was, it was no problem in the end. But yeah, I thought it was just a bit weird. Anyway, hopefully you like this really short video. Um, I know my videos are normally Kmart clothing related, um, but I thought I would just show you what's, what I what, what I picked up at Target. Might, someone might be out there interested to see um, what they have on offer for kids. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this page, share this video, comment down below whether you prefer target over Kmart. let's get that sort of you know conversation going down below um and yeah check out all my other videos uh i did just record a coles grocery haul that came this morning so i don't know if that's going to go up before this one here but check out all my other videos um and yeah, comment down below. I have noticed that I'm getting comments in my spam, even though I haven't, I haven't, I haven't got a criteria on YouTube to put things into spam if I don't want it to be published on my page. 
Um, I only noticed this last night. So, uh, yeah, if I don't reply to you straight away, I'm going to make a conscious effort of continually going into the spam folder or it, now that I know that it's there, um, going into the spam folder and replying to all the messages so that it can be posted up onto the, um, onto the actual video. So if there's any of you out there that have sent a message and I haven't responded, I have now responded. Um, and it might come up in your notifications like for an old video but yeah I just wanted to put a disclaimer out there that I should have been looking at it but I didn't know that it actually existed <laughs> considering I didn't put any anything to um, any any words or anything like that so then it go it doesn't get published so yeah I'll, I'll keep an eye out for it alrighty I better leave it at that So, I hope everyone has a lovely day and I'll see everyone in my next video. Bye!